Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. A question I receive a lot is what's the difference between an invoice and a sales receipt? Similar to an invoice, a sales receipt provides customers with a detailed description of products and services that they have purchased. Invoices are issued to request payment from a customer. In contrast, sales receipts are used when the customer pays for services or products without being issued an invoice. QuickBooks sales receipts record both the revenue from the sale and the cash that's received. In situations where an invoice is not issued, such as when a customer pays for goods or services immediately, a sales receipt is necessary to record the payment in QuickBooks. As such, I'll show you how to generate a QuickBooks Online sales receipt while recording a customer payment. I'll also teach you how to email the receipt to your customer within the platform. To start, click on the white plus new button at the top of the left hand side toolbar and then select sales receipt in the first column under customers. QuickBooks Online will then display the sales receipt screen. The fields that appear on the screen will depend upon the settings you specified after viewing my QuickBooks Online tutorials on how to set up sales form content and how to set up advanced settings. To start filling out your sales receipt, select the customer's name from the drop-down list or select Add New to create a new customer. Once you select a customer, the email and address fields should populate automatically, provided the customer information is complete. Typically, QuickBooks will default to the current date, but you can change the date if the sale is on a different date. Select either check, cash, or credit card for the payment method. If the payment is by credit card, you may want to go ahead and watch my video on how to manage credit card sales. The next field is the reference number. If the customer paid by check, enter the check number in this field. Moving on to deposit two. Select undeposited funds from the drop down box. This will place the check or cash in the undeposited funds account until the next bank deposit is recorded. I do have a tutorial on how to record bank deposits in QuickBooks Online if you need the guide. Now scrolling down, select the product or service from the drop down list or add a new product or service by selecting add new. Once a new product or service item is selected, the description and rates fields should be populated automatically, but you can adjust them if needed. Now enter the quantity for each product or service provided. Once you enter the quantity, the amount column should populate automatically. There are additional fields to complete based on the prior options you have assigned. For instance, if you selected to track information by class or location in the advanced options, then you should complete the class field for each product or service and enter the location field for each receipt. Before you save your sales receipt, you can see what it looks like when emailed or printed by clicking on the print or preview button at the bottom of the screen and then selecting the print or preview dropdown. If needed, you can print or download the invoice after previewing. If you need to make changes, close the preview to return to the previous screen. If you want to record the receipt without emailing it to your customer, click the save button on the lower right side of the screen. If you want to send the receipt to your customer, click save and send. When you click save and send, QuickBooks will provide a preview 
of the text that will appear in the body of the email. All of the information will populate automatically based on the information you provided in the tutorial on how to set up sales form content in QuickBooks Online. You can make changes, but they won't be reflected in future sales receipt emails. When you're satisfied with your email, click the green Save and Close button. Creating a QuickBooks Online sales receipt serves several purposes. It provides your customer with the details of exactly what they purchased along with proof of their payment. Creating a sales receipt also records the revenue for your income statement. Finally, the sales receipt records the customer payment and places it in undeposited funds until the next bank deposit is made. For more business resources, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks online coaching or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.